Hi there, how are you? Uh, well, let's uh, start this uh, new video and I have in mind something I wanted to show you since a long time ago. I was thinking about um, how to show you all creative people to find your own comic character or how to create a funny, easy to do character for your own artwork. All right, as you know, I am in love with dolls, so I am drawing most of the time uh, my, my dolls, okay? You already know them, but maybe some of you don't, so I will quickly show you some of them. These are some of the last ones I have done and I have created them using Copic markers and this is my organizer or doll organizer. Okay, this is only uh, to show you what I mean, what I am going to try to show you is to find your own comic character. And this is the comic character I have found and I have need for these years. So I have been drawing actually my whole life. Since I was a little girl, I was always playing with pencils and colors and um, I was uh, always in another world. So I have a lot of time uh, to find my own character and I did it. I found it. Now I want to help you to do the same and I am going to do this with short, small videos. Okay, not a lot talking, but showing you what I mean. And yes, I hope this can help you as well to find some nice character for you. It doesn't really matter if you can draw or you, if you are very talented. All you have to do is just to be patient at the beginning and to practice as much as you can. If you practice, you are going to get better and better each day. This is always a very simple rule in art and in life. I think if you want to learn how to drive a, a car, you have to practice a lot before you are good on it, okay? So this is the same for art or for artwork. And let's look at it in a funny way, okay? Not a serious way, oh, I am going to make art. No, this is funny, just let it go. Don't worry about mistakes. There are no mistakes, okay? If you feel happy with it, if you like it, what you have done, this is okay. It only had to be, it only has to be for your eyes and for yourself and you have to feel happy. Okay, enough talking, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to show you what I mean. All you have to do to learn to draw a nice cute face is you need a, notebook you know like this one a plain one blank and you need a pencil i am working right now using the 4b so this is a, a medium one so you can see the lines i do but it doesn't really matter at the beginning when you're doing your sketching and you're learning you can use anything okay just something to make a line and do your own character this is it you don't really need to look a lot for our supplies. You need a pencil, you need a, a rubber, and I also have this special rubber, you know, because this is uh, good for the small spaces in between when I need to erase something that's very teeny or small. And okay, what I do, what I'm going to do is I am going to show you the very beginning, and I am going to show you this and had many small little videos I will be uploading every weekend or so and I know you are dying to learn to draw faces so let's start let's start <laughs> excuse me let's start by drawing faces all you need for the beginning is a circle okay draw a circle and then you need some helping lines we are going to start to draw a face from the front Okay, you need something like a, like this. As I said again, don't take a look at this too serious, okay? Just draw, draw your sketch, a loose one, 
some lines. So now you have two, two, um, excuse me, two spaces where you are going to draw the eyes. Okay, you can say, I cannot draw eyes. All right, it doesn't matter. We can also make a cute char character with small eyes. And I start by drawing one with small eyes. All right, we have here two eyes. This you can do, okay? Now, we need a nose. We draw again a circle. I'm going to make a close-up so you can see this much better. Okay, you draw a circle and here on the side you have the holes or nose holes and then something like this. And this is it. You have already a nose, okay? Now, we have a nose and the eyes. I want this to look cute and what we're going to do is to add these two lines and you have already a cute look, okay? This is kind of a little bit uh, sad, but not too much, okay? And now we need a mouth. What I say always about cute characters is you should, you should draw a small, tiny mouth, okay? And then you have a cute face, okay? So let's start to do this the easy way. Again, draw a circle, go from the middle, so a little bit from the middle, and draw a line. You have already a nice cute mouth. Now, let's try to make it look nicer. You see this? And this is it. Okay, now we have two eyes, the nose and the lips. We need the eyebrows. And for this, if you want to make a happy face, then you only need to make a curve. If you want to make, she looks a little bit uh, mad, okay, this was too much. If you want to make a kind of, uh, not sad, but kind of sad face, then I recommend you to do like this. You see this? Okay, now we need to make a shape a form for her face and for this you can start by just going ahead and make here like a curve you know like this you see this and here on the side as well the same all right now the forehead we are going to draw her hairs and so I am going to start from the middle just like this now we have the most important features for this face and we are going to erase the pencil lines, okay? The helping lines outside as well. And as you can see, this looks already very cute. And you don't need to draw always big eyes for your character if you are not uh, very... Uh, good in drawing or you don't have a lot of drawing skills this is the very easy, easy way to draw eyes now you can only do like this and this is it you have already two beautiful cute eyes and I love her face as well I love her lips you can keep on working on the face shaping the form until you really really love it and on her eyebrows as well for her hair we are going to make an extra video for you but quickly you can draw her hairs now like this so you see this now after that I recommend you to do a lot of these kind of sketches, a lot, as much as you can, okay? Because as I said before, you need to practice to get to find your own character and this is the way you are going to get to your, to your goal and this is it. You can keep on working on this, you can add more shadow, you know, Use your finger to blend it and work on her hair. When you are drawing hairs, I can say you quickly, you have to 
pay attention to the direction of the hair. So if you are drawing this kind of curves, you have to keep on doing the same and not on the other direction because, okay, this has to look uh, good. And if you do this uh, in crisscross lines, I don't think you're going to like that. Okay, so this is very, very easy to do. I like it. And I know you're going to like it too. Keep on working on this. If you want, you can add shadows as well. Blend with your finger. All right, we can as well. She needs a neck, okay? Right. We are going to draw her neck like this. And you can take as a reference the nose, the end of the nose, and here is going to start her neck. And for the other side, the same and you have already a nice neck for her head, okay? And just draw, I don't know, something like this. Just keep on working on this. Remember, this has to be for your eyes only and you have to love this. You are the queen of your artwork. You are the queen. This is a nice pot. She has a crown. And she has beautiful hairs. All right, keep on working on this until you love it. And you're going to be getting better each time you practice. So this is one character you can do with small eyes. This is not difficult to do at all. This is the front face. And next week, I am going to show you how to draw again same character or maybe we do a different one and I'm going to show you how to draw this from a uh, another position okay all right for the first time this is enough I don't want to do too much so you can concentrate on this this is the basic shape of your doll face and remember this is only the beginning you can keep on working on this until you find your very own character so as you can see, this is not the doll I used to draw. This is not my character, but I have found a new one and you can do the same. And all you have to do is change some features. I don't know, changing the eyes, maybe changing the nose or her lips and you already have a nice doll. And this is it. You don't really need to do exactly the same other people do. As long as you have imagination and you practice, you will see your artwork is going to get better and better. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I am going to be doing this for you, I don't know, maybe once in a week. And I see you on the next one. Practice a lot. I am happy to do this with you. And okay, bye-bye, see you.